Maris Brothers High School in Suva is renowned for producing some of Fiji's finest rugby talent. And while the team was in Fiji, Melbourne Rebels players paid a visit, but it was clear who the fan favourite was. We were playing Mr. Angelo Smith, because he's a um, former uh, student here of uh, Maris Brothers High School, and uh, he also lives in Rewe, close to Rewe. My favourite player is uh, Angelo Smith, playing for Melbourne Rebels. With, uh, as a Maris Brothers student, I look up to one of our old boys who's uh, playing the who's uh, representing the uh, Melbourne Rebels and his uh, position is playing in the same position. The 25-year-old Fijian-born Locke has thrived in his first full year in Super Rugby, a life he admits is very different to the one he had in Fiji. Getting the call to be offered a contract here at Rebels, I was over the moon, eh? I was happy as that dream come true. Yeah, he of struggles. Back at home, doing 12-hour shift security jobs to selling coconut juice on the side of the street to help the family. Now to be blessed, to be getting paid to play, blessed to send some money back home to help my family. A powerhouse forward, Angelo honed his rugby skills here at Maris Brothers as a student. The brotherhood that we share there is almost the same as what we share here at Rebels. So yeah, going through that Maris Brothers system yeah, really helped me to be the person I am today on the field and off the field. When I was in Maris Brothers, when the Crusaders came down, we had old boys like Manasa Mataele that came down and from there we just saw like, yeah, I want to be like him one day. Then we had Bill Kikau, William Kikau come one day and I was like, yeah, I made up my mind, I want to play rugby. Angelo isn't the only Rebels player with links to Fiji. Before a call-up to the Rebels, David Filiwai served a two-year church mission in Fiji before ending up in Central Europe. The opportunity came to play in Romania and I went there for about two and a half years. Just, yeah, I just went over there, experienced life, played some footy and then I came back due to COVID and stuff like that. Yes! Well deserved! David and Angelo have been getting more and more game time for the Rebels. Being able to get some game time has been, um, been awesome for me as a player in regards to my growth um, at this level because it's still pretty new to me on um, the pace of the game, uh, the physicality, um, the, the structure. Being able to play rugby for my family, just happy that I'm just doing my best on the field to keep my parents proud and my grandmother proud and also for the boys back at home for like one of us to come overseas and play rugby like if one can do it all of us can do it. Although not selected for the Suva trip, Fijian and Torres Strait Islander Moses Sarovi is in his second year with the Rebels after six seasons at the Queensland Reds. It's been challenging but it's, it's good for me as a person to grow. Like now at the Rebels you have to try and be more of a professional, just be on top of everything. He doesn't need to look far for inspiration. His father, Morsese Senior, was a former Australian and Oriental Pan Pacific Boxing Cruiserweight Champion. I think only Fijians knew the name, so once they meet me, they ask me, oh, is your dad uh, Fijian, uh, the Fijian boxer? I was like, yeah, that's my dad. <laughs> my advice to young Pacifica players would be to, to believe in themselves. That's something that I kind of doubted sometimes. That's part of the reason why I went to Romania, because I honestly thought I couldn't make it here. you got to really take that time management really serious. you got to turn up half an hour early. No matter if you start at 8 o'clock, you show up at 7.30. My advice to the brothers coming up is everything is possible. Just put your mind to it, put your heart to it. Work hard and the saying back at home, taka 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 masulaka and ayadopa. Just keep working hard, keep praying and everything is possible. Thank you.